So when it comes to the Fox Body Mustangs, there isn't too many options out there that can allow you to spice up this front end with the front lip. A great example is gonna be looking at my 2013 Mustang GT here. As you guys can tell, we are running the GT500 front bumper alongside the double layered GT500 lip. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. There's just not too many options out there for a 1988 Fox Body Mustang GT until today. What is going on everyone? Derek here today bringing you guys another video. We are back with the 88 GT and yet again adding another modification before, hopefully before, Fox Fest 2021. And today's modification I am very excited about because one, you don't see many Fox bodies running this and two, it's just going to make it look so much better especially the black on black. We're gonna get into that in just a moment. As I just said in the beginning of this video, um, you know, there's just really not many options out there that allows you to really spice up the front end of a Fox body. And I know right out of the gate, a lot of you are gonna be like, you're crazy for wanting to mount up a lip on this, leave it, old school look. I get it, this modification we're gonna be doing today, this lip in particular from Maker's Garage is gonna transform the look of the 88's front end here. and. Without further ado, let's just let's just open it up. Let's get to it. It is a pretty decently sized box. Um, this isn't gonna come like the Mach 1 chin spoiler or uh, you know the Terminator Cobra chin spoiler, which I have both ran. Those come up pretty much rolled up in a ball, slammed in the box, and then no. This is uh this is one whole piece of ABS plastic. They do have two different options. They have option number one being the black plastic or option number two full carbon fiber and I didn't really want to go carbon fiber on this because that's almost a little too modern in my opinion and I'm a firm believer once you go one piece of carbon you have to do absolutely everything else carbon and here's the thing I, I don't really know what else I would put carbon on this car so we went with black let's go ahead and get this thing open up and man I am very excited because I have been talking with makers garage for the past month now I think I've had the car for about a month and you know I that's the first thing I look for is what can I do to really spice up this front end other than the headlights because th those are coming they're currently out of stock LMR get your shit together let's go we need those ultra clear headlights but yeah I was just wondering what there is out there for these cars because you guys know I don't I don't really know too much um, as far as the modification realm of things when it comes to these she's packaged very well that's a good sign and even the box Check that out, they're official. Maker's Garage right there on the box. All right, wow, rather, really, really light. Uh, I was not expecting it to be. Wow, this is extremely light. So here's the lip, uh, again, extremely light and very thin. It's not as bulky as I thought it was gonna be, which, you know, it's not a pro or a con. I'm just rather impressed. Uh, I thought it was gonna be a lot heavier. So let's go ahead and get this thing opened up though and you guys are getting a first look well not first look but you know first look on my side of things of the maker's garage front lip and uh you know i've seen many people love these things i've seen a lot of really 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 nice cars running them and you know it was like hell might as well partner with them and you know put their lip on the car because i was definitely looking for one and i was gonna go and mock up a mach 1 chin spoiler I've seen a lot of people do that as a more cost efficient option, which I was totally okay with because if you do it properly and you form it to the bumper, it actually looks really good and it's like 70 bucks compared to this one, which we are gonna go into great detail about how much it is, where you can get it. It's definitely a lot more expensive than that though. Uh, a lot more expensive. And we can just go ahead and set that right there for now. And wow, guys, that looks freaking incredible. It is just such a sleek design. It's not a matte black either. It has a little gloss to it. And we can kind of kind of ruin it for you guys. You know, why not? But let's just go and see. Oh, yeah. That is going to look freaking sick. Wow. You know, there's definitely ways to mount this. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the record right now. I will be mounting this my way. Um, I watched a video on it. There's a lot to it. Pretty much the install video I watched, which I guess you can go ahead and call quote unquote proper way of installing it, um, required pulling the fog lights, pulling the fog light um, mounting brace, that's that whole piece of metal behind it, and then 
you know, drilling all these holes, doing yada yada. And I, I was just looking at that and, you know, in my day, I have installed many, many front lips, and I definitely think we can go and install this without doing any of that. Um, I'm not saying for sure. Just by looking at this, though, I am going to be running 3M all around it just for some extra security, and I am going to utilize these holes 100%. So, I mean, right then and there, I, I just feel like it's plenty. I, I don't really think you have to go and remove all this stuff just to mount this. And it, the great thing about it, it is super light. That just makes matters even better, especially with a perfectly clean surface with some alcohol on both sides, adhesive promoter, and, you know, some, some bolts to go with go in I, we're just gonna be a-okay -okay with this no doubt about it this thing looks freaking sick man it is gonna look so good mounted up and man i'm excited as far as other contents that are in the box um it does look like we have some hardware here which is super dope of them to provide got a bag of bolts we have looks like some clamps we have some nice um these are like nut washer thingies. I'm sure all my guys out there that have a Mustang know exactly what these are. I'm just gonna be honest, I probably won't be using these, this hardware, because I know for a fact I can get away with mounting this properly and securely without having to remove all that stuff to apply, you know, these washers, these, these locking nuts and stuff like that. And then we also have what looks like, check this out, I will say, a plus 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 for quality and uh, organization. I this is awesome. We got the Maker's Garage logo has like a little drawing, stencil drawing of that. And look at this guy. What's up, dog? Hey, hit a wheelie real quick. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Um, this is very cool. It looks like it's all hand drawn for the most part, which is really dope. And you know, it even has parts list, tools required. And I am looking at the work of an OCD man, and I love it because I am OCD as hell as well. So this is so awesome that there's actual instructions. So we got the instructions, we have the lip itself, and we have mounting hardware. Just a little mock-up. Are you on the edge there? Oh yeah, that's gonna look freaking sick, dude. This is gonna look so good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. This is my game plan for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 3M everything um, completely 3m all the way around after we're done 3ming that's what we're gonna initially stick onto the car so for one that's gonna be way more than enough um, you know to hold the lip up for us then we're gonna go in with a drill and drill our pilot holes and then we're gonna follow up with something similar to this but we're gonna get um, really nice self tapping um, hexagon screws let's go ahead and get this process started I'm excited you guys can't see anymore we're gonna go get this thing tackled. I'm just gonna do this and then give you guys a look afterwards. It's just gonna take too long to absolutely film every single gap. So let me knock this out in a three, two, and, and boom guys, there we go. We have the 3M on there from start to finish. We got it. As you can tell, a lot of these pieces halfway started just so when we start mocking it up, um, we can just rip one at a time, stick, rip, stick, and this will just give you the best result without having a mess up. Because once it sticks, this is going to be a pain to take off. Alright, I'm going to flip this side. Just 3M so far. We're gonna go back, drill our pilot holes, send our screws in. But it looks really cool. It gives it gives it a really odd look right now. Um, I'm not used to it, but I like it. If that makes sense. These front lips are gonna be just fine with every hole occupied by a screw and all that 3M. It's not going anywhere. So yeah, not bad. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see, but I started on this side already. I just pretty much drilled up into the plastic and then. I sent a screw, 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 and this is not going anywhere. This is super tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit every hole. That's what she said. And then that's gonna be our super, super easy install on the Maker's Garage front lip for the Fox body.
I'm gonna grab one of these, get her started. And I'm gonna hand screw these just so I know how tight it physically is. Push on the plastic, push on the screw, boom, perfect. All right, everyone, so we have the final product sitting right here behind me, and I'm quite excited to see exactly how this is gonna look when I lower the car. Um, just a little disclaimer, guys. The way I mounted this lip is 100% going to work just fine. It is ridiculously secured. But also, on the same note, I don't want any like shade or anything being thrown towards Maker's Garage because of the way I installed it it's not like that at all it's just i found that this is going to work a lot easier than taking all that other stuff out to feed hardware in like i saw in the video i don't know if the kit's changed ever since then i'm just going off of what i've watched online and another guy installing but you could do it this way and i'm going to show you exactly how i did it it's perfect it really is it, it, it's going to work just fine so here we go you already know we did all of the 3m on the lip itself and then you can see here we have, we actually went ahead and installed three of the supplied bolts and um, locking washers just because, you know, they fit there really easily without taking anything off. And it's just that extra reassurance. And then, um, you know, we went and drilled our pilot holes and then we fed the screws. They are super tight and they were probably like half an inch, quarter inch screws, nothing too big. We did that the whole way down on top of the 3M and this thing isn't going anywhere. It is on there for good. That looks awesome. Wow, it really like spices up that front end a ton. And that's kind of what I was looking for. It's definitely different than the Mach 1 chin spoiler that you can run in these cars. Um, because this one kind of comes out more rather than down. But wow, that looks so good. I freaking love it. Let's take a look at the before and after real quick. I don't know, if you ask me, right on the money. Huge shout out goes out to Maker's Garage. This is a fantastic product and it truly does transform your Fox Body's front end to give it more of a beefier style now all we need is those freaking headlights i can just see it now the super clear ultra headlights the nice fogs got the lip antique plates look so sick on this car because they're black and white and you know one day we're gonna have that black cow hood and that front end is going to be sick and by the way how do people have a different insert on the front i see cars my year that have like an open grill insert with a ford emblem how do you do that um, is it like a whole different bumper or is it something that I can physically do just by modifying this? That is so cool. I love that look. Please let me know how to do that. Again, huge shout out to Maker's Garage, man. If you guys are interested in checking one of these out for your Fox body, they have them for all years. They have side skirts, I believe, in the making. So we're definitely going to get the side skirts on this as well when those come out perfectly matching. And it's going to really give this car a nice aero effect. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description. There you have it. Comes in that box. You saw the unboxing. Absolutely professional to another degree. All the hardware, awesome instructions, awesome packaging. You, you really can't beat that. And not to mention, there's really not too many options out there on the market, specifically for Fox bodies of all years when it comes to front lips. So don't mind the car being filthy. It did get rained on. It is going in the 18th to get it fully ceramic coated and we have some other modifications going on it. But take a look at that front lip, man. That thing just spices up this car so much, especially on a black Fox. That old school look with, you know, a little modern touch to the front end. I absolutely love it, and I think it turned out amazing. So again, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. More modifications dropping this week. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, click the bell notification icon, and please, for the love of God, drop a like up on this video. When you drop likes on all the videos, guys, it truly helps them get promoted and be put out there because YouTube detects that people literally like the video, so it pushes it more. So help your boy out. Take a second, subscribe, and like the video. But until next time.
We'll see you later.